Hey guys, it's Rush. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. This video, I'm going to show you drive reversal. Drive reversal is basically V reversal from Street Fighter V. It's a move that you can use. It's universal amongst the cast and it's a drive move. It costs two bars of drive. It's a get off me move whilst you're in block stun. So when you're holding pressure, if you want the opponent to get off you whilst you're holding pressure, you can do drive reversal. And it can be, you know, in true string pressure to where you're in constant block stun. As long as you're in block stun when you do it, it will come out. The input is forward and heavy punch, heavy kick, which is, in my opinion, that's bad design because that is the same, technically the same input as drive impact. So if you come out of block stun and you do forward, heavy punch, heavy kick, drive impact will come out. And if you've been watching the videos, you know how to punish drive impact now. So if you get drive impact instead of drive reversal, that opponent's been watching the videos as well. He's going to punish your drive impact that you didn't want because you wanted drive reversal, but you mistimed it and all this other jazz. So it's a bit mad. It's a bit crazy. Drive reversal, if it's blocked, it's minus eight. So it's actually punishable as well. And where you'll run into situations where it's punishable is where the opponent uses a move that has fast recovery. So a lot of talk in there. Let me show you how this looks in a match. So. This recording here is, so I've actually recorded many things here. If you go to recording settings and record, I've got Ryu here to do two dashes and then a heavy punch and then block. So I'm going to turn this option now here. Let's do a restart battle. Double dash, heavy punch. Heavy punch has lots of recovery. So let me drive reversal the heavy punch. Let's see if he can block it. He's holding down back. That's part of the recording. And you can see He's getting hit. Cannot block that and they take grey health. It cost me two bars to do that. They take grey health. What about if they use a medium? So I think this recording is double dash medium punch. It is crouching medium punch. Can I? No, you can even see it recovers quite instantly. You can see he's still blocking it. You've got to be realistic with this. You're not going to just do that like at the first frame. There will be some frames of block stun first or it's just, you're in a string before you do it. You can see there, I'm actually minus. If I put the frame data on. So you can see there, that was minus eight after the drive reversal on block. Uh, there's another situation that I want to show you with this technique. This technique is good when people do a button into drive rush. Now I'm not saying it's guaranteed, so this is very important, but it's a situation you may, probably the most common situation you may want to use this, but there may be OS's and counter techniques around this, so you've got to be careful. But if I get Ryu now to do this sequence, he is doing a dash into crouch medium punch, drive rush into crouch light punch. That is a true string. There's no gap there. I can't ODDP between that gap. Can I drive reversal this? That's the question. Can. But, and this is the important thing, that was almost instantaneous. I did it straight away. What if I do it on kind of like reaction timing? You can see if I'm late, it gets blocked. It really does depend on the string the opponent uses and how fast you are. The slower the buttons, the more recovery their buttons that they use is better for you on defense if you're going to use this technique. The more buttons they use, if they keep stringing loads of buttons, that's better for you because you will punish the startup of the next move with the drive reversal. But if you are late on the drive reversal and they do nothing, more than likely they're going to be able to block. In a nutshell, that's that's drive reversal. You don't see it used that much. It's a technique you should use. Uh, it's very good for moves that get the opponent in. It's like special moves. So special moves that launch the opponent in. Let's say, I don't know, Honda, Headbutt, Blanca, um, Rolls. Uh, Lily as well with her dives towards you. If any of those situations are plus or you don't want to deal with the mix afterwards, you can block those moves, those special moves, and push the opponent away for, from you. You can do that. 
So that's it guys, that's the video on drive reversal. Hopefully that made it a bit more clearer if you weren't sure on the mechanic. And if you didn't know it existed, well, you do now. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.